Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we continue the music theory series right here at BusyWorksBeats.com slash music theory. Today we're going to get into some music theory for beginners. I'm going to show you guys a simple trick I learned from the Neptunes and Pharrell on how to create a different sound using something so simple called parallel scales. So in short, what we could do is take the C major ninth and then convert it to a C minor ninth. And that small change in the third and the seventh is so musical that it makes it feel like a different chord, different root note chord. But it's really just C major going to C minor. So what are parallel scales? Parallel scales are basically when you have the same root note. So we're in C major, which is all the white notes here. Okay, with C being our common root note. And all we're gonna do is just go from the C major scale over to the C minor scale. A simpler way to think about that is whenever you have a major chord, that's the root note, switch it to the minor chord version. Really simple. So let's use this in context. So we have a two, five, one chord progression, second, fifth, first. We're gonna use the tritone substitution, it's called. Now usually we land on what's called the tonic or the first, but in this case, we can switch it up. So we're at C major ninth right now. We're gonna move third down and a seventh down one half step to make C minor ninth. So it creates a different tone. So let's do this faster. at the end it's if you don't have another chord to move to instead of making it complicated to move to a different chord from the C major because we have another bar to go we can switch it to the minor version why does that sound cool it's because we're still using the same bottom and top note and the fifth stays the same because it's always the fifth but we're changing out that third and that's what creates the sound I found that this sounds really good when you use chord extensions like ninth chords, 11th chords, because it just sounds jazz-like and it's okay for the chord to go from major to minor. Even that D minor to a D major sounds really good. So you can even add that in. just cycling between those two it adds color to your chord progression so typically you would play it D minor ninth and then we're just using the half step version of this to create what's called a tritone substitution and then moving down to your tonic C major ninth so how do we spice that up over time again when you play it it's three chords but how do you stretch three chords over four bars need another bar so this is where you can add that change up from C minor excuse me from C major to C minor ninth to add that extra chord that you need at the end also if you want small change ups you can just switch again it's usually better you do this with bigger chords like the like at least five note chords here we have the D minor ninth and then we can swap it out for the major a simple little technique Adds a Pharrell, Neptune's type vibe. So let's do some different chords. Now I'm going to show you some other techniques. This isn't exactly in the same frame of mind as far as the two, five, one. But for this technique, we're just going to swap out the major chords with the minor chords. same chord root note but just taking that third and the seventh and moving it and it creates a nice contrasting tone so try that out whenever you get stuck now this would be our eh, let's not use that chord this is a minor now if you're going from a minor chord to a major chord it's going to give you a happier tone 
going up from the minor to the major. But if you're going from the minor chord, or excuse me, if you're going from the major chord down to the minor, you get more of a mysterious vibe. So that's the general energy behind it. Here's a C major ninth chord. We're going to go down to a minor ninth. So it gives it more mystery. But if I'm going from A minor ninth up, let's go up an octave, A minor ninth up to A major, it feels more happy sounding. It's all about the movement of the notes. So you can learn all this in our Music Theory Magic course at busyworksbeats.com slash music theory magic. I'll show you how to create the emotion behind chords, not just with the memorize. change it up so now once that change up happens now you can introduce new variations to your chord progression without it sounding so far off and then here we want Okay, so you can do cool things. Now, if you want to learn more, go to busyworksbeats.com slash music theory magic. Peace out, guys.